Hey guys, I'm Nina Zeta with Sidewalker Daily, and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the Amazon Influencer Program. I wanna share with you how you can set up your storefront, what you need to do to apply, all that good stuff. If you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be kept up to date on all things influencer marketing, the creator economy, social media, all that good stuff. So I recently did a video on how to increase your Amazon sales if you're in the Amazon Influencer Program, but I realized is that not everyone may know what this program is, the difference between the Amazon Associate Program and the Amazon Influencer Program. Yes, there are differences. So kind of wanted to take some time today to walk you guys through the differences and share with you how that you can apply to be part of the Amazon Influencer Program if this is something that you want to get into. And I think today's video, I'm gonna be sharing screen and sharing with you guys um, just like how that whole process is. So the Amazon Influencer Storefront, it's very similar we are in the program so i'm going to show you guys our storefront as you can see here we have different idea lists and it literally just gives you a storefront full of all Amazon products that you are able to drop in and literally just um, as simple as adding it to a list, it will generate on your storefront page. So if you are a creator that is recommending products, whatever niche you are in, and those products can be found on Amazon, then this may be a program that you may be interested in joining, right? Because by being an Amazon influencer, you are putting your recommendations in the storefront and making it very easy for your audience to purchase your recommendations and then you get a commission from them, right? So it's a traditional affiliate program, but it's a little bit more because you get the storefront. So first you have the Amazon Associate Program, which quite frankly, like it's literally for anyone who wants to be an affiliate to Amazon. So I would say nine times out of 10, most people get accepted to this. Um, obviously, if your page has any explicit content, they're not gonna approve you. You do need a website or a mobile app to qualify so that they can verify you so a lot of bloggers and creators who are just starting off will often start off with the Amazon associate because they're able to get clickable links to products that they want to recommend to their audience so the Amazon influencer program is rather similar but there are a few key differences and the first and major difference being that you get a storefront and a URL with your storefront name in it so similar ours is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash sidewalker daily we get this unique URL and we get a storefront to basically put together all of our information. We get a profile, we get to have a, like a banner, um, a follow button, things of that nature. Also, there is an approval process for the Amazon Influencer Program. Like I said, the associate, if you just wanna be an affiliate, like mostly everyone gets accepted, but for the Amazon Influencer Program, there's a little bit more of an approval process, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. And then another main key difference is that if you're part of the Amazon Influencer Program, you basically are getting access to have your content content shown to other Amazon shoppers. It would be like other people on Amazon will be like product recommended by, you know, so-and-so influencer. So this is a, you know, also a way for visibility to your page and your brand. Then you get all the other perks like creating shoppable photos, shoppable videos, and live streaming features. You also get access to like an influencer education hub. So obviously it is different than just the standard um, associate program, which is just like an affiliate program for anyone. So uh, Amazon is not very clear like what the threshold is like to get in to their program I think things that they look at are obviously your number of followers your engagement and the type of content you post I do want to say though I have seen fall um, creators with less than 10,000 followers be accepted into the program I don't think it's necessarily like a follower count thing but if you obviously just started don't even have a page have nothing um, available yet then you have to ask yourself maybe you don't really have that influence yet Yet. and then the Amazon Associate Program is a good place to potentially start off and then apply to the Amazon Influencer Program. But we've definitely seen lots of people with micro, nano influencers being accepted, so I wouldn't deter that from applying. I would apply anyways and Amazon will let you know their decision. So when you do apply, it's gonna ask you to kind of share where you have like the largest influence on. Is it YouTube, is it TikTok, is it Instagram, is it Facebook? So as of now, that is, those are the platforms that are available and you will go in and just fill out like that application um, and if you don't get in don't stress because you can apply again so it's something that you can obviously do once you feel like your account has a better level of engagement now if you do get accepted this is what it's going to look
look like. This is the private view. You're gonna be able to, again, to create content. Um, you can create shoppable videos and photos. You can put all your ideas um, and products in dif different lists. You can live stream, you can edit your storefront. You'll be able to see reporting, manage your videos. Um, obviously with your banner, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have, you know, the name of your shop, but also kind of like a catchy tagline. So for us, it's come shop some of our favorite business finds for influencers, content creators, and businesses. But you wanna make sure that people clearly kind of know this again is very much like your bio. Um, so this is what you're gonna see. And then right here, as you can tell, we have like our stripe, this, this is always there. So we can get links um, to certain images. And this also is for associates, by the way, guys, but you can get links for certain images text all that good stuff you're able to see your earnings um, so that is really helpful like I said um, they have an influencer kind of hub actually let me get to that page okay so this is how it looks on the back end you can ignore this notice because our payment information is submitted um, it says please ignore this message but yeah it won't go away so as you can see here, this is basically how it looks like on the back end. When you have your influencer section, you can have your manage my storefront, you have your education hub, you'll have all your reports, your earnings, there's different tools, um, idea hub for promotions. Like you can see like different Amazon promo codes available um, in terms of like just different things that are happening. So they'll like kind of tell you, okay, these are our current promotions or you can see upcoming promotions, which again, that's how like always Amazon influencers like know what's going to be promoted because they're able to see like what is happening soon like when things start um so you can like remove it you don't want to see active you just want to see upcoming promotions i swear this is how they all like know everything so there's tons of like obviously information on the back end um to help you as an influencer you know again create a another income stream um even with the product linking will help you link those products and again if you guys are just shopping and you're just like going somewhere normal I have this example right here it's, I just pulled it up it's literally a water bottle I don't even use this water bottle but just for example sake if I wanted to add this to my storefront all I would do is just click add to list and then I would put it you know where I would want it maybe office swag I am not going to add it because it's not something I'm going to be recommending but I just wanted to show you like while you're on Amazon how simple it is to just add products to the sections that you, to the idea list that you want and then those would populate right here under you know those idea lists so I think it's very um, easy to add product recommendations to your storefront. So one thing that is really important to note that if you do end up like watering this plant, so to speak, and end up really investing into your Amazon storefront, yes, there are the commissions, but commissions vary, right? So some products you may go up to 10%, some may go as low as 4%. So I just want to be clear about that, that it's not like a flat fee commission. These vary. But again, one thing that is cool is that people that are on Amazon, they're ready to shop. So if you're live streaming content, if you are really about promoting and recommending things, if you know you're an influencer and you have influence and you're really actually recommending stuff that you already love and do, setting up or at least applying for the program could be an interesting you know, choice for you as an affiliate. Because again, a lot of times when you're an affiliate to other brands, you just have like this trackable link. But um, what's interesting about this Amazon is if you get accepted, you get your own little storefront and it kind of feels like you have your own little shop page and your own space technically on Amazon. So it does give you that a little bit of a heads up. Um, but definitely check out that video guys that we made all about how to increase your sales as an um, once you get accepted into the program or release that video. It's full of really good actionable tips so you can drive those sales once you get accepted. So the question is, will you be applying to be an Amazon influencer? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this program? Is it a yes for you? Is it a no? No wrong answers. I'm just curious. I'd love to hear. Um, and of course, guys, if you are an influencer that is interested in working with brands, you know, having this data from your storefront is very helpful in your pitch, right? Because now you're being able to show the brands that you want to work with. Hey, look, I was able to sell X, Y, Z, um, of your product. We should talk. So if you're interested in working with brands, guys, I host trainings all the time. Come, come, come and join me. You're going to love it. It's a live training. I share things that I don't share anywhere else, not on the YouTube, not on the newsletter, not on the podcast or Instagram or TikTok or all the places that we play. So come join me for a live free training on how to land those paid brand deals. And I will include a link below so you can join me. All right, guys, let me know what you think of today's video and I will see you in the next one.